And welcome back, everybody, to a brand new episode of Minecraft. If you're truly the Hermit Hood, I got something good for you guys today. First things first is I did a wee bit of work on this base over here. And you guys can see it looks pretty good. Uh, this is supposed to be a replica of Tinfoil Chef's base on Seven Days to Die. Just miniaturized down to, well, Minecraft size. <laughs> and as you walk inside his base on his on his world he had this uh little church type building i don't know what this thing was it was a cemetery at one point so this is one of those buildings over here off to the left where you they would ha where they would bury bodies they would put them inside of like a uh, coffin and i don't know why people did this before but they did all right they did it in the past they don't do it anymore, but they used to do this, all right? They would put them in a coffin, and they would give them this massive, big thing as if they were going to come back to life. Can you believe that? Come back to life? They built these giant things. What was the purpose of it? But anyways, TFC, he used one of these things and built himself a hole all the way down to bedrock. So, <laughs> we might do that for a base over here at some point, but for right now, let's let's fix our F5 up. All right, there we goes, and get our F1 back on. I'll show you guys what I have done with the area. Um, we're going to need a lot of iron because I want to finish up the iron bars. You know, I want to bring them up too high. I'm using some cobblestone pillars because, well, we don't have the rounded pillars that w you would have in seven days to die. So I decided to switch it off to like, all right, we'll use some cobblestone pillars on every other one. So if I bring, come out here and you guys look, yeah, I decided to add that just for uh just for kicks and just for kicks and giggles we added that there um we're, we need to put iron bars going the whole way around it you can see all the wood has been completely taken out um we need iron trap doors and iron bars the iron trap doors if i had some uh if i had some wood on me let's you know what let's just go get some Let's see here. Do we have some? Yeah. One, two, three. All right. There he goes. Uh, let's just go right on ahead and let's get some of this. So I can show you guys what I'm talking about real quick. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Yeah. I know I don't need this many, but <laughs> what the heck? Why not? So if we take this and we bring it out like this right here, this is pretty much where you would, he would stand and fight his enemies so <laughs> it's kind of a step down because it like hangs right off the edge like right here um i could flip that stair the other way but he would put these things the whole way around his base it would go two down come across and it would come all the way over to the edge pretty much and this thing would actually go the whole way around his base, kind of like this. And oop, I, I didn't even know you could do that. Give me that. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. So this thing would actually go two by two the whole way around. We might go ahead and use these. I'm not sure. But I kind of like the idea of using the iron instead. And this thing would loop the entire way around. Um, so long as the uh, iron trap doors don't require redstone to activate them all, um, we'll be okay. If it does, then we'll have to uh, do something with the resource pack for these. Um, yeah, I, I never really did like the uh, oak trap door color, but uh, I'm sure we can switch it up just for this. Um, we'll have to be careful what we use it on in our builds, but uh, you know what? I think we use birch instead. Yeah, those trap doors always were kind of ugly. So, yeah, we could switch that texture out instead. But, so, here's the idea, all right? You would come up here. Let's just use some dirt. He would come up here. He would shoot his little, he'd shoot his things. Come out here, pew, 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 with his gun and shoot the things. And it would be kind of cool. You know, I liked it. It was awesome. It was a really cool video. He did an awesome job on them. I really did enjoy them. Now, the only other block that I was considering using was my stone slabs to come out here, but 
Um, wasn't exactly sure on that one. I put these things in here wondering about them, and then I realized I would need a, uh, I, I would need a, uh, spider farm, you know, to get something going for this. But we're going to need a lot of iron for this job, guys. A lot of iron for it. And because I already have another project going and we came out here for some other things, I want to show you something really quick. All right. So this portion right here, this only takes two coal to do one stack of uh, dirt into a gravel. You do not get XP from this. As soon as I get some hoppers, this chest will feed this. So basically we'll be pulverizing dirt into gravel. And from gravel, if we grab this, we can place this inside of here. Probably not the best material to be using right now, but let's go ahead. We can do this, do that. You can see it makes sand. And it does like half a stack. So I could sit here and babysit this thing if I wanted to. So basically over all I did is I made a data pack where you do not get any XP from this. But instead, you can see you don't get any XP. I made it that way because if you're going to be pulverizing stuff, you shouldn't get any XP from it. So all I did is just made a couple recipes for pulverizing some things and this is a pa a part of one of my packs so yeah that's a thing um anyways what i want to do today guys is i want to hop on top of this hill now that i got you guys up to speed i want to mine up probably let's see here an inventory's worth of hardened clay but, oh, great. You know what I just forgot? Not only do I want to do that, but we're going to need a map. We're going to need a map for out here, guys. So, yeah, let's do that real quick. Can't remember exactly how much of this I'm going to need, so we're just going to take a whole bunch of it. Took some of this stuff, and, yeah, got that going. Let's get ourselves a map real quick, because we're going to need this. I need all the paper I can get. These things, we're going to put string on top of them. It's going to come out probably about one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to add a whole bunch of these dead bushes out here, you know, just for uh, cosmetics. Um, I don't think I'm going to close the area off. We might do that. I'm not entirely sure. But let's go ahead. Let's do this. We're going to need one bit of redstone. And we do not have enough iron. Oh, crappers. All right, let me go take care of that real quick. All right, guys, let's get this map made because we are going to need it. Oh, hold that thought. We can't make a compass like that. Compass is like this. Put this in the middle. Bada bang, bada boom. All right, now we're going to wrap this thing. Bada bing. All right, let's wrap. Let's open it up. Let's open it up like right here, smack dab in the middle. Bada bing, like that. There we go. There we go. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom this thing the whole way out now. So let's see here now. Let's grab this. That, what, what does that thing say? ID 21. Okay. Let's zap, zoom that thing out. All right, let's do that again. And we're going to zoom this thing the whole way out. And let's hope that by the time I get home, this map should be able to catch connect up with everything else there he goes because where i'm thinking this map would connect up at is three or four okay i need one more oh no all right we need more paper let's go get more <laughs> um you know what just yoink three we're good. All right. I'm going to finish up making this map, guys. I'm going to go snag up a stack or so. I'm going to fill my inventory up with a whole bunch of that clay. And I'll meet you guys all the way back at the base. All right, guys. Welcome back home. So, last time we left this place. All right. Let's just... I didn't... You guys can see I didn't exactly fill my inventory up with clay. Um, I gotta figure out how to fix this name. I want to get it back to hard and clay. It's not terracotta. It's clay. Okay. And that's just, 
aggravating to see it like that sometimes. All right. Anyways, I want to kind of bring this thing across like I was telling you guys I wanted to do. Let's see here. Bring this in. Bring this across like this. And I need to come across this backside. Oh, for goodness sakes, I thought I re replaced all these. Hmm. All right. You know what? We'll worry about that in a moment. Let's just... do one of these and we're just going to yeah get up here knock that out and actually no that one stays right there doesn't it yeah that one stays there this comes out right back here we're going to be putting posts so inside of here i want to put some cobblestone posts kind of like that right there um or we could add something else i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know but we don't need that right there no more. Add a little bit more over here like we was doing the last time. Let's go ahead. Let's bring this thing over. One, two, three. And we're actually going to be intermixing bricks with this. So it's nice to see that we actually got this portion done, but what we never did do was complete the entire thing. So we're going to be doing this today. We're going to be completing this portion today, guys. This is what we're doing today. Finishing this off. I think I have enough clay for it now. We're going to have to knock out some bits and pieces. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, let me just do some work. All right, guys. Uh, as soon as I came back in here, I started patching up some of the work that we uh, left off on. I didn't realize that I never did finish this portion before we left. And we're going to finish this off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run all the way back to the, uh, there's the stone bricks. Um, we're going to run all the way back to the, um, base and we're going to finish off that other thing. So there you go. Let's just grab these and this, this gets a stone. This gets a stone. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And we're going to come right across this like, so is that right about the, that's not, yeah, that's about right. That's about right. Because this right here is basically just a kickback. It's a kick out, pretty much. It's all this is right here. It's just for a kick out. Um, this entire back wall right here, though, um, we could, I think I might go ahead, mix in some bricks with this as well. Um, I want to mix in some bricks with this hardened clay. So this whole back wall, it's not going to be 100%. Well, solid, just the way it looks right now. We're going to mix it up. It's going to look different. Uh, but for right now, let's just get what we can done. We need to get some stone stairs underneath this like we did up here. And this that'll be just some cobblestone stairs upside down and right side up. It'll mark out both sides of this. So I got to get rid of some of that right there. Um this thing on the inside looks good looks good um i'll show you guys what i mean by i want to mix in some bricks with this all right so let's go ahead grab ourselves a stack of this and we're oh ooh, that's not bad all right so what i want to do is basically add like little designs in here so nothing that says oh it's it's just a normal design you know i just want to kind of break it up add a little bit of stuff and things in here kind of like this here and there you know just kind of make it look different but at the same time some of these we're going to have to keep for another thing so let's see here if i came across here maybe knock this piece out right here and said all right let's I don't want to add too much detail into it, but at the same time, I would love to be able to keep it, make it, yeah, 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 
Um, we do need a piece over here, so I guess we can add that one in right there. And let's go outside. Let's pick up those other blocks. Now, right here, I'm thinking we could add some carpeting, maybe some orange carpeting or something like that on top of it. Up there, we're going to have some stone brick things. Um, we do not have brick walls just yet, so we'll have to work with what we have. I mean, we could do this, but it ain't going to do nothing. The recipe is there, but we can't do nothing just yet. Um, oh, you guys get to see this. All right, so this is one of my things in reverse engineering. It's back to bricks. Um, it's actually quite interesting. So if you wanted to take all your bricks, say you had bricks left over, you could do back to bricks if you wanted to. Um, let's just say we had one, two, three. All right, and we crafted all of these things into, into that and just did, okay, we did this. Now these right here, you should be able to put these back in here, get all your clay back, and you can turn it back into bricks again like this. And you get the same amount as you had before. I just changed it up, made it a little bit unique within itself. Now this piece right up here, I'm just realizing it, we're gonna have to knock that one out because it's too uniform the way it is. Yeah, I suppose it will survive. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. And I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna add these bricks inside of each and every single one of these. And up here on top, you're probably wondering. All right, so this right here, I want to switch. Whoops, I need to put a stone brick in right here. A stone brick in right here. And where this cap is right here where we have this at this is pretty much the cap limit right over there for where everything else is so what i'm going to do is i think i think i can get away with putting another stone brick up there yes i can so we, we're going to go ahead and knock this out there we go and i gotta find my book for this armor stand i got an idea but yeah, I do have an idea. I want to put two armor stands in here um, and do some things with it, but I can't do that just yet. How did I get more bricks? I might have to look into that recipe. All right, so let me pause, do some more work on these walls. We'll work our way upstairs, how that's going to work. You guys are probably wondering, well, how are you going to get upstairs? Well, this isn't actually supposed to be right here. I want to be able to get upstairs from like right here and have a small little step down platform. So basically it'll be a uh, platform. It's gonna be a under, I can show you that right now. Real quick, I can show you that. So if we go into here, we do wood, wood slabs. All right, we got these wooden slabs right here. And what I wanna do is I wanna come across this, pardon me. All right, guys, welcome back. Sorry about that. You can see I went on ahead and I put the uh, stone brick in here. Well, not the stone brick. I went on ahead and I put all the brick inside here already because I wanted to get that portion out of the way. Um, however, what I wanted to do is I actually want to build a ladder that goes up to this from like right here. So no, 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 not like that. I don't want things spawning on it. Let's see here. Let's, can we... Please get this where I want it to. Yeah, here we go. So this will pretty much just be the way up there is right there. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to add... No, 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 no. Um, I want to add a different type of slab up underneath that because that is the bottom side of it. So on the, on the edges of all of this, I could actually... No, I can't do that. Why can't I do that? Hmm. I guess I'm not going to be able to do this with the wood like I wanted to right here. 
because I had all these extra jungle wood slabs and we was going to do something with that over here because I got all the stone coming across right here. If you guys look, we got the one, two, three. It comes the whole way across. And right over here was supposed to be like that. What, you know what? It's just going to have to work out. It, it, it's just going to have to work out. All right. So let's try this. All right. So this is basically going to cover up that lip over on this side. Now, for this other stuff, let's see here. This is all wooden slabs, stone brick slabs. Let's get ourselves a stack of these things. I guess what we're going to have to do with these is we're just going to have to do one of them and mix it in with some stone slabs to kind of make it a little bit smoothed off, I guess. All right. Let's see here. How do, where's my, where the hell's all my stone slabs? You know what? I got stone. Forget that. <laughs> there. We got some stone slabs. <laughs> so basically, this is what I'm going to have to do then. What in the world? Alright, that's weird. Where's my textures? Okay, that's not right. My textures aren't working. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say at this point. That shouldn't come be coming up like that. Um, my texture pack isn't working. I mean, it's working right here because you guys can see the half slabs perfectly fine. But, yeah. All right, it must be just the bottom side of it that it doesn't look right. Okay, I'll have to look into that. But right about right up here, like this, we'll have to come right across this and use these ones. I'll have to fix that. I didn't realize that. This is going to look awkward. <laughs> I didn't even realize how awkward this is going to look till now, but I guess it'll have to do. All right, we're going to have to close off some of this like that over here on the sides. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have to do something like this along the sides to kind of close that off because I can't run the uh, way I wanted to right there to close the gap off. So I could do that same exact thing over here with this, you know, just kind of bring it in, but I'm going to need more stone slabs at the same time. Let's see here. Let's, let's just get some more. Because, here, I'll show you guys right here. All right, this is the texture for this, okay? And you can see, clearly see on all four sides, it's the same exact thing, all right? Let's place one of these out here, and let's take a look at it from down below. It's just fine. But when you place it upside down, it looks like that. Why is that? It must be a placement thing. I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> That's just a new one on me. All right. Anyways, ladder, 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 ladder. Yes. We're going to need a ladder to get up here. And I'm going to need to make that other portion up there solid. So let's put some stuff and things away. Let's get a ladder going up there. And all right, just shove that in there. Um, ladders. You know what? Just give me this. I'll make some sticks. Bada bang, bada boom. And you know what? I just thought of something. Do we have any? No. All right. Um, ladder. There we go. All right. So now we got more than enough ladders. That should be okay. This should bring us up here. We should be able to hop right up in here. And this will bring us up top. Now we have to close this off. And I'm going to close it off, I guess, with clay. Um, and some bricks. I didn't want to close it off like this, but I guess I'm going to have to. All right. So, yeah. You guys can see where I placed those, it automatically changed the uh, texture of it. 
That shouldn't have happened, but I guess it's going to be a thing. Huh. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I like that. Um... Let me see here, let me see here, let me see here. We def we need to put a roof on this now, and what I wanted to do for a roof was... I thought I ripped that thing out. Hold off, hold off. Okay, guys, I uh, finished this thing up on the interior. It looks quite good. I added these things coming down. We do have our wooden slabs up here now. Looks rather good. I got a, a stick, a, uh, these things, you know, our ladders. I put one on either side. Add a little bit of stone to accent it on each side as well. And I figured out what was causing this problem as well, too. So let's go outside here just for a moment. So this is a stone slab texture right here, okay? If I go outside to the underside of this thing, I put one on the bottom, it turns into that uh, double slab. But if I remove it and do this, we get that. But if I was to take one place this right here and place one on top it still remains the same texture but any other way it just wouldn't work so we can remove this one and remove that one it's still still the same texture it's just a uh it's just the double slab thing so in other words all these things did was turn into full slabs i mean full blocks pretty much so if i wanted to i should be able to come out through here and just like fix that up by doing one of these because it just didn't look right to me and i'm just gonna go right on ahead and do this anyways just so the texture remains the same and it doesn't look well a little bit awkward to us so we're gonna go ahead and do this place this thing inside of here like this and yeah it's getting nighttime again i've been sleeping on and off inside the game you know trying to get things going here make it look nice make it look all nice and pretty up get it going for us real good and i'm thinking the only thing it's left to do guys is add like an oak roof or a spruce roof and mix it with some uh maybe we'll mix it with some brick i don't know I think I would rather wait to put a roof on this thing until the 1.14 comes out, but it just kind of seems more of a hassle to sit out here and wait for it than anything else. And now I remember what I was coming out here for. I needed granite. Um, I, I got off track there. So I mean, where is that granite? Give me that. There he goes. I ran out here, I was looking for what what block is that that I completely forgot about out here, and it's this right here. <laughs> Alright, so I could probably use a little extra granite up there on the roof to uh, kind of bring it together, and I wish I had a lot more granite than this. Not sure, I could probably go mining for it, but at the same time... We've been doing this long enough today, guys. I think I hit the my maximum time for this episode. I think I hit maybe about... Um, not too sure. Honestly, not too sure. But I need a lot of granite for us to finish off this roof. And we got a nice good pit of it right here off to the side. We got other stuff and things in here we can mine out. I want to check my chest down here. We do got some granite in here. Nothing, nothing. And... All right, we do got some granite. I can always convert this back. What is this? Just give me that back. And we got a lot of more stone up here. I could always bring this stuff back with me. And you can see we got more pockets of granite down there we can grab up. Um, now a roof. I'm thinking I'm going to leave this one up to you guys. I want to show you what my idea is for a roof real quick is I would love to be able to use a granite roof like forget about those pil forget about that white cap on there okay just forget about that white cap I'll show you guys what we're going to do with that okay let's just come up here with this right here and I'll show you guys what we're going to do okay so this thing is basically going to just going to be a capper 
right here on the end and it's going to come out by about two blocks on each side on the corners of all of it all right so if I bring this granite out here, I come out here. That's why I left those out there is for capping these corners. I want to bring them out by two blocks. One, two, one, two. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to leave it kind of like this for right now. And the reason we're doing this is because I want to add a type of roof on here that looks unique within itself and doesn't look like something you would quite expect to see in Minecraft. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this one out. Um, this thing, let's just knock it off for right now. We really don't need that right there. We can go ahead and scoop this stuff up. There we go. That looks better. Looks a lot better. All right. And we got to add a capstone up here. And this one, yeah, you know what? Let's just, yeah, the capstone goes out. So you know what? We're just going to knock this out, knock this out, knock that out. Do I have any of those logs on me by chance? Yes, I do. Here we go. Let's just bring it up and bring this out by two like that. That looks a lot better. All right. Now, as far as that goes right there, um, I'm not too worried about it. I'm actually going to use this. Now we can actually use it and bring it up the rest of the way. Um, this one right here, I'm actually going to use a polished one inside of here. And it's just, they're just going to serve as markers for the time being for the roof. So we're going to add one in there, one in there. Let's go ahead, put a capstone inside of here like this. And I want to do this same exact thing down here now that we got this thing pulled out. Let's go ahead and bring that wooden log up once more. And right here, let's see here, right about there. So we have our capstones. If All right, let's see here. Let's grab ourselves a wee bit more. And I'll show you guys what I'm doing. All right, so here's the capstones for the roof. And how this is going to do work, guys, is this, all right? Right on top of these, I want to do like a slab and stairs, okay? Um, right here will be like a stairs that'll go wrap it, all right? So we might redo this portion right here in the front. You know, this portion that comes out, it might switch out to a different type of wood. Um, think of maybe a spruce or a jungle. Um I want to put a staircase right here, preferably a spruce, not a dark oak, something that will actually accent the building really nicely. So preferably like a spruce, um, maybe a line of brick, and then add some more andesite in here. It, not andesite, this stuff. Uh, but I don't want to use that texture right there. The only texture that I actually want to use is this one right here. Pretty much because it seems to fit. So it does. It has a really nice noise to it. And it just screams build with me. So I actually want to add this in. I've actually considered taking this building, this all the way down there and running it right where all that clay is. But if I was to do that, the only way I would do that is with slabs and not the way it is right now. So I'm going to end this episode, guys. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on what you think we should do with this roof. Um, we could add a couple more capstones in here because we're going to need those. So let's see here, right about here, add a capstone in and a capstone in right here. And it looks like we got another one we can add in right over here. And these right here will just be like the caps for where it's all going to come together. All right. So this is where it's all going to come together. The roof is going to go up and down. All right. It's just going to be a V shape. And 
I think it should accent it nicely. We're going to add that nice big V shape in on this. Um, we need to switch this wood color out and redo this front. Um, thinking spruce or jungle. I mean, look at the jungle, how it looks really nice on inside of here. But if we came out here and added a little bit of spruce to it, it will actually give it a nice good appeal as if you're walking from one end and straight on into the other. And I think that might work out quite well. And as far as how this works right here, I'm thinking, let me see here. Let me show you real quick. I want to take the look at this. Let's see here. Um, this is spruce right here. All right. This is what I wanted to look at. I need to see what the texture of this is because these are the ones that I'm thinking are actually going to go straight in that direction. So yeah, kind of like this. All right, let's just pull these ones up and all right. So let's look now. This is what I'm thinking of accenting going off the edges, going back that way. And maybe we could take it as well and do another one like this. Now this one right here, evidently it's going to be a four bark on each side, but kind of like that. Yeah. Just want to redo the front and switch out the wood color and we'll keep the cobblestone. Maybe we could use a mossy cobblestone wall instead. Hmm, sounds nice, but I do have the end of the episode, guys. Um, the roof is ready. We just have to put it on. So, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> We're about ready for this, guys. Um, I'm going to remove this so we guys can get a good screenshot of this. Um, also, some thoughts and feelings on how we're going to do that tinfoil chef base, guys. Um, I am going to need to run myself out a stack of iron. I want to see how much iron I need for that. Oh, take a look inside of here. You guys can see what we got. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and make a chest. No, I don't have to make one. I got a ton of them. Um, yeah, here we go. So stuff that we have to take out towards the other base to work on TFC's house. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to slap that stuff down like right here. So we got ourselves a stack of iron for working on that over there. This looks great. I love it. It's going to match the garden district really good. And I think we're doing pretty good, guys. We're doing really good. You guys are getting ready to see how well I really can build in the game. I just never showed this side of me before because I was always afraid that you guys look at my builds and say, oh, you suck and that, that, that. So I just stopped building like this. And yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you guys be sure to leave some comments, likes and subscribes and you know, all that stuff and things. But until next time, guys. See you when I see you. Bye bye.